So I wanted to do a quick roast of Kamala Harris. Please don't come around asking me what I think about this lady or, or if I'm a supporter. Vote. No, no, no. First of all, this is not a black woman. Y'all need to get off that. This woman is Indian. You hear me? Indian. Or what is she? It seemed like she changed ethnicities every other week. And her Indian side or Jamaican side, she's part Indian, part Jamaican. And her Jamaican side, it's not even black Jamaican. But aside from all of that and her cosplay and talking about washing greens in bathtubs, listen to this. Do you support reparations for black people? Well, listen, again, we had over 200 years of slavery. We had Jim Crow for almost a, a, a century. We had legalized discrimination, segregation, and now we have it, it, segregation and discrimination that is not legal but still exists and is a barrier to progress. We have disparities around housing. We have disparities around education. We have disparities around income. She babbling already. There's a yes or no question. And we have to recognize that Everybody did not start out on an equal footing in this country. Oh, do not compare our experience in this country to other people who came here and got free handouts. Have y'all, oh Lord, this vile, disrespectful woman, you telling me to vote for this? No, none of these other people's experience compared to our experience in this country. And none of them built the country. Most of them wouldn't come over here unless we fought for them to come over here. What is you talking about? But here she goes. Here she goes. Let's let her finish. And in particular, black people have not. And so we have got to recognize that and do something about that and give folks a lift up. Cut the check, woman. That's how you do it. Don't talk to me about no lift or program. That does not close the wealth gap. You close it by giving black Americans and only black Americans tangibles cut the check. But you can feel the BS coming. That's why, for example, I'm proposing the LIFT Act. Give people who are making $100,000 or less as a family. There you go. She's going to start talking about stuff she's doing for everybody. No, we're going to lift everybody and black people will be included in that. That means the wealth gap that was created during slavery and Jim Crow is not closed, woman. A tax credit, which will benefit and uplift 60% of black families who are in poverty. So no. by default, it affects black families, but there's not a particular policy for African Americans. Like there is for other groups, LGBT, Asians. Come on with it, Kamala. Are you going to give something specifically to the group that has put in the most work, built the country, and been attacked the most by the government? You already done things specifically for other groups. Let's not leave out the Ukrainians and other illegal immigrants coming here that you're throwing money at. That you would explore. But no, if you look at the, the reality of who will benefit from certain policies... When you take into it, it will be all these immigrants you hauling over here. Where in many cases, we don't even benefit from these goofy policies. We're the last ones to get these handouts. We have several business owners that attest to that. Starting at the, at the same place and they're not stand, they're not starting on equal footing. It will directly benefit black children, black families, black homeowners. Because the disparities are so significant. So if we focus on the specific... No, you're going to lift everybody. And you're really going to lift them more than us. Because like I said, many of these programs, black people go there and suddenly there's no money available. But all these other non-black American organizations and whatnot has been funded already. Well, let's let her finish. Issues that have resulted in the greatest disparities... And we understand that that's part of why we're doing it. Listen, th the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. That's the problem, dummy. 
Yes, that, that will not close the wealth gap. What's wrong with you? What, what's wrong with your brain, lady? You lifting everybody up maintains the wealth gap. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Okay. So you're not getting our vote. Beat it. 